welcome back in Studio B. The Gold Note Chorus is here. Sunday is the 100th anniversary of the birth of L. Ron Hubbard, the science fiction writer and controversial founder of the Church of Scientology. Hubbard was born in Nebraska and served in World War II before publishing Dianetics in 1950, the self-help guide that became the basis for Scientology, which Hubbard founded in L.A. four years later. Nowadays, Scientology is best known for its celebrity members like Tom Cruise and John Travolta and the continuing questions over his practices and beliefs. Scientologists are expected to attend a series of one-on-one -on -one spiritual counseling meetings that the church calls auditing, where they learn about church teachings. So what do they believe? Scientologists don't comment to outsiders on many of their doctrines, but according to court documents, Hubbard taught that 75 million years ago, the Earth was part of a galactic federation ruled by an evil tyrant, Xenu, who herded his subjects into volcanoes on Earth and dropped hydrogen bombs on them, freeing their immortal souls, which take the form of today's human beings. Under Hubbard's leadership, Scientology grew in the 60s and 70s, but frequently battled federal tax authorities. Hubbard's wife was jailed in the 1970s for conspiring to break into IRS headquarters, and Hubbard himself was under investigation when he died in 1986, suspected of diverting church funds for personal use. The church has continued to grow since, and about 25,000 Americans say they are Scientologists and will be celebrating Sunday as the church marks its founder's 100th birthday. <laughs> 